tassels, you had a bunch of cards that looked like this, and you put them in layers and you picked out the index tassels. Today we're actually going to create our rock column or rock strata of layers, and you are going to put an index tassel in those layers. So I'm going to show you what I'm thinking here. I've got this piece of paper, and this piece of paper is my rock column. And I'm going to use some colored pencils or crayons or markers, whatever you can find in your color boxes, and I'm going to create some rock layers. So I've got my blue and green. And the reason why I'm coloring them different colors is I just want to show you that these represent different amounts of time, right? That over the Earth's history, we've got sediments that are laid, and that's why we're coloring them in different colors. All in even amounts. Yeah, they're not always in even amounts, but I did that for, for you guys. Okay, now I'm going to add some fossils to these rock layers, and I'm going to use some symbols that you might be familiar with. For example, the letter E. I'm going to put the letter E in some of these layers. And I'm going to put um, a hashtag. Have you guys ever heard of a hashtag? <laughs> yeah, I, I heard something about them on like ancient telephone. If you guys aren't sure, this is um, a hashtag. It's used on Twitter. If you've not heard of it, you should probably Oh my um, god. Question marks. Couple question marks. And my last fossil, I'm going to use. Um, a plus symbol. Okay, so now looking back at my column, I want to keep in mind as I was making that what an index fossil is, because there are four specific criteria that need to be met in order for it to be an index fossil. So what I'd like you to do right now is I would like you to, in your brain, recall what those four things are that make an index fossil an index fossil, and I want you to turn to your neighbor and I want you to discuss what those four criteria are. See if you can come up with all four together. Okay, raise your hand if you and your neighbor were able to come up with all four criteria. You know what? That's okay because that's why we're reviewing today because it's very important that you know all four of them. Raise your hand nice and high if you've got one to share. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to create your own rock strata. So reach into your color box. There's a list of fossils that you may use at the top of your paper. And I'd like you to create your own rock column. Keeping in mind those four criteria that make it an index fossil. Fossil, 
but I, I only have one area geographically, so I need to compare it to other areas to see if that's actually an index fossil. So lucky for you guys, I actually already have some rock layers here that I can compare it to. And so now I'm able to look at four different rock layers, and now I can evaluate the criteria. You four are going to be working together. I want you to lay all four of your columns together. Hold on, before you move. Stop moving a minute. I want you to look at the bottom. The bottom says, after the activity, respond to the following. We found blank to be an index fossil. Do you have an index fossil? If yes, what are the reasons why? And if no, what are the reasons why? We've got four different rock columns that represent four different areas geographically. Can you find it in each layer?